And now a major announcement we've been promising for weeks, the 2022 Logger of the Year. The two men you're about to meet have been partners for four decades. They work in the southern part of the state, and both of them say there's nothing else they'd rather be doing. Meet the owners of DNR Logging. It's said often, but bears repeating, that the forests of Mississippi are among the most breathtaking natural resources in the state. Nearly 20 million acres are wooded, and besides being a source of pride, beauty, and recreation, the trees harvested in Mississippi represent an extraordinary industry. In fact, forestry had an economic impact of more than $1.3 billion last year. Considering the challenges of the last few years, those revenue figures are amazing. The loggers who contribute to that economic footprint in Mississippi are a critical part of the backbone of that industry, which is why every year the Mississippi Forestry Association honors the outstanding logger of the year. In 2022, that logger is DNR logging of Leakesville. As always, there was a lot to consider when making the choice. Dave Godwin of the MFA once again sums it up. The Mississippi Forestry Association's Timber Harvesting Committee looks at loggers from across the state of Mississippi to select the winner for this award. And they look at a lot of factors. They look at safety. They look at how a logger uh, treats safety. DNR logging is, has an excellent safety record and places safety, it places a high emphasis on safety. Uh, they look at how the logger takes care of their environment where they're working. And so DNR has a great track record of using the state's best management practices to to take care of the environment, to, to address things like water quality concerns, erosion concerns, resource concerns. So they, they check that box for sure. Uh, they look at their business model. And in 2022, logging is a difficult business and DNR logging uh, has done a really good job being successful business uh, people in, in, in the logging business in this modern era. Uh, and they look at how they're engaged in the community and community service and DNR logging is very uh, active within their communities. So. DNR really checks all the boxes that, that our committee is looking for in a, in a winner for this award, and we're proud to call them our 2022 MFA Outstanding Logger of the Year. DNR Logging, owned by Randy McInnes and David Harvison, got its start all the way back in 1982. 40 years of hard work in the majestic woods of the Magnolia State. Needless to say, things were pretty different back then. It was a humble beginning for Randy and David's company hot. <laughs> Just a chainsaw, a cable skidder, and a, a Mack truck that didn't have air conditioning or power steering. Um, you couldn't find anybody nowadays to drive that truck. That would be, that'd be hard to do, find somebody. Things have evolved over the years to be a lot safer. Uh, we, we get 20, 25 loads a day and we never crank a chainsaw. And years ago, that's how 90% of the accidents were from sawing and uh, we don't do that anymore. Um, changed with the times and it's, it's been a lot easier and a lot better. When we started, we had a power saw and a cable skitter and a 55 gallon drum with a hand pump on a pickup truck for fuel. But back in those days, we could operate just about a week on that drum, you know, and now if that's all we had, we couldn't operate 30 minutes out here. Randy and David buy their own timber. Over the years, they've discovered that's the way they like to work. We started out uh, buying our own wood, then we worked log for Hood Industries for a long time, and we worked for a few other people and just decided to go back to buying our own timber. I, I found I'd rather work for myself than somebody else. Of course, safety is the number one concern in the logging business. DNR has never had a lost time accident in those 40 years. Randy and David are on the job site itself 99% of the time, and in addition to regular safety briefings, they place a high priority on making sure they know where everyone is at all times. It's safer and ultimately more cost effective. The main thing, as far as I'm concerned with safety, is we have to keep up with everybody. You know, we have to communicate. And, you know, we got radios and all this equipment, and you know, we can communicate. Everybody's boxed in, rollover protection, everything on this equipment. But you know, like somebody might get out sometime and walk hunting a property line or something, you know, and if you don't 
see them pretty regular, you got to find them. And uh, that's the main thing is just communication. Everything costs a lot more. Um, logging rates haven't changed with cost of equipment. Um, you just have to be more productive to make up for it. Um, it's a lot safer. Like I said, we don't have anybody on the ground. Um, everybody sits on the machine, so that makes for a lot safer operation. Trucks, trailers, all that's a lot nicer, you know, than they used to be. Um, just er everything has changed for the better. Needless to say, care for the environment is a big part of the harvest operation. DNR is careful with ramps and access points, water bars are established to prevent erosion, stream crossings are arranged, and roads are carefully managed and rehabbed if necessary. Bottom line, DNR pays careful attention to forest management plans. After all, David says, they want everyone to understand just how renewable the forest is. The main thing is not necessarily about our company, it's about our industry. You know, a lot of people don't realize timber is a renewable resource. Somebody will be right here where we're standing in about 14, 15 years and they're gonna thin a plantation here. You know, and then it's gonna go from there. And then a few years later, somebody's gonna do a second thinning. And then years after that, somebody's gonna clear cut it again. I mean, that's how all this timber's got here, you know. Is about people replanting. Ultimately, Randy and David are men of few words, but they and their crews are known for being easygoing. After all, when you've been out here in the woods this long, it helps to love what you do and enjoy the company of those you work with. Glad the good Lord has left us here to log for 40 years. I, like I said, I've enjoyed it. Been some hard times, but been some good times too. And I'm very fortunate. A lot of people hate to get up and go to work every day, but I don't. I like what I do. Congratulations once again to DNR Logging, the 2022 Logger of the Year. Well deserved. <laughs>